Greetings and Namaste. Uh, today is day three of my 100 day juice feast, and I'm uh, feeling pretty good today. I uh, I went to bed kind of late last night because I got sucked into Netflix, <laughs> um, which unfortunately is a bad habit of mine to get sucked into the computer at all hours and uh, stay up too late. So hopefully tonight I'll get to bed a little bit earlier, uh, but. I did uh, get some good sleep. I slept in really late. I actually slept in until like 11.30 or noon or whatever it was today. Um, even though I went to bed late, it's still that's a lot longer for me to sleep than normal. So, let's see. Yeah. So, anyways, um, yeah, so today was a good day. I went out to, um, well, I, I, I had gotten my uh, wheatgrass up this morning to get up and juice, and I, uh, I've been buying my wheatgrass from a store, you know, up the road, but their wheatgrass doesn't really look that great. Uh, when I got it, it was already a little more mature than it should be, and it was starting to look scraggly and a little bit, tiny bit yellow, but it still looked pretty good, so I got it. And I've been juicing it, and I, you know, I know it's still good for me, but um, I decided I was going to start growing my own wheatgrass. Um, I used to do it uh, in the past, and I was pretty successful at growing it and um, getting super healthy wheatgrass, much better than you can buy in the store, and of course saving a lot of money too. So I did a lot of running around today because I didn't know where I could get some good organic soil to grow the wheatgrass in. Um, I know some people don't grow it in soil, but I like to do it so it can take in the nutrients in the soil and add some compost to it to um, you know, boost the... Uh, the nutrition in the juice uh, or in the wheatgrass. So I went to this one um, nursery today I found online and they told me on the phone they had the, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, um, the organic potting soil and I was getting it specifically without manure, uh, being vegan, you know, I wanted to grow without manure. I mean, I know it sounds silly to some people and, and you know, obviously most of the food I eat is probably grown in manure, but um, for growing my stuff at home, I prefer to practice veganic farming, which, you know, instead of using manure, uh, which often can come from questionable sources, and isn't always from, like, organic farms, which I would be, you know, better with, I, I might be okay with. Um, I got this soil mix that's made from, like, um, compost and, you know, mixed with, nap, you know, topsoil and, um, you know, different kinds of, like, um, I don't know, like tree barks and whatever, things like that. Um, maybe not tree bark, but forest floor stuff. So um, I'm going to supplement that by blending up some uh, seaweed, some kelp. Uh, so essentially adding like kelp powder to the soil mix to fortify it. And um, it'll come out really good and fortify my wheatgrass and make it super, super dark green. Uh, you know, obviously, you know, being out in the sun and uh, that'll just... Like, when you put your wheatgrass out in the sun, it'll turn green, but if the soil's deficient, you won't get it as green, and maybe it's because there's less stuff in the soil for it to utilize, so the photosynthesis doesn't tur turn it, uh, it dark green or produces dark of green of a hue. So I'll be doing that, so I'm really excited about that. I got a couple free trays from that nursery um, that I went to because I called them and they said they had that organic soil, and then they didn't, even though I drove all the way out there. and I rented a car to do it so <laughs> and then I uh, went to another place where they helped me find and I found some organic uh, soil to use so that's good and I bought an extra tray there for like a dollar twenty-five and I'll be uh, starting to grow my wheatgrass uh, tonight I uh, just started soaking my seeds for it because it's a good idea to soak them overnight but that'll be another video I'll, I'll do um, maybe tomorrow or the day after to show uh, you know how I grow wheatgrass. So super excited about that and uh, because I did all this today I didn't have my juice early like I'd planned because I'd gotten up so late. So I just had um, a couple kombucha teas throughout the day and then um, when I finally got home later in the evening it was already like five o'clock I juiced my wheatgrass and um, I had extra amount of that. I probably had like four or five ounces of wheatgrass today and um, then I made my green juice and I decided since I had all the kombucha today 
I was going to just make a purely green juice tonight to be lower in sugar. Kombucha itself, uh, the kombucha culture eats up the sugar, but I still think there is a little bit of remaining sugar in it, it's sweet and whatnot, so um, just having green juice tonight. And so tonight's juice is just um, cucumber, celery, again, an entire head of celery, probably like I juice like six cucumbers. Um, I put in an entire huge bunch of cilantro because for some reason last night when I went to the store, I was looking at the uh, produce and I smelled the cilantro and it smelled really, really good to me. And I don't know, I just felt like I wanted to go home and juice it and do like super shots of cilantro juice, which is probably really gross. <laughs> so I just blended it up, or not blended, juiced it up with my other veggies. And I also juiced a... Um, almost an entire head of romaine tonight because I wanted to make a, a juice that was a little bit lighter today since I already had the wheatgrass and I, I don't know, I just wanted something where the cilantro would really stand out and not be overshadowed by the darker and more bitter greens. And I also threw in um, a yellow bell pepper just to, to add a little extra body to the juice. So um, it's pretty good. Definitely can taste all the flavors in there, and uh, I will update you guys tomorrow. So uh, today's been a great day, busy, and now I'm off to um, go to a social group with some friends to hang out and uh, occupy my evening. So anyways, thank you again for joining me today on my third day of my juice feast, and I will see you tomorrow. Namaste. Keep juicing.